Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and I've been on a tang kick lately. I've gone from two tangs in a display to eight. And in that process, there's been one fish that you guys have been clamoring for a video on more than any other, and that's the yellow eye coal tang. The yellow eye coal tang is one of the smaller tangs that you can buy. While they can get up to seven inches, the majority of them you're going to see for sale are going to be two and a half to three inches long. And they grow relatively slowly as far as tangs go. So these are a great candidate for those of you with smaller tanks. And when I say smaller, I mean 75 gallons and up. But if you have a 75 gallon tank and you're looking to figure out what tang to get, the yellow eye coal tang is a really tough one to beat. One of the biggest reasons you might want to purchase a yellow eye coal tang is they spend the entire day picking at the rocks looking for algae to eat. When purchasing a yellow eye coal tank, really take a close look at the fish you want to buy. Look for one that swims actively but isn't stressed out and darting around the tank. Look at its skin. Look for any white dots. Look into its eyes. Make sure they're clear. Look at this fish. Try to find the most colorful one you can, the healthiest one you can. The better the fish looks, the more likely you are to be successful with this fish. When you get this fish home, you should quarantine it. Tanks in general are at a high risk of ick and marine velvet. Now these are little parasites that attach to the fish and can absolutely kill it. Ick is something that can be treated. Marine velvet will likely kill the fish. I like to treat my tangs with copper before they go in the tank. So I treat the QT with copper. This kills the ick in marine velvet, ensuring that it cannot get in the display tank. The yellow eye coal tang will play well with most other tangs except for other bristle tooth tangs. So I would stay away from things to mini tangs, chevron tangs, any of the bristle tooths. Two bristle tooths have a very high likelihood of fighting, but a purple tang and a blue tang and a yellow tang and all of those other tangs that you probably want in your tank will do fine with a yellow eye coal tang. As with all tangs, yellow eye coal tangs are at a high risk of certain diseases. Ick and marine velvet are the absolute worst of these. Ick and marine velvet, as we touched on earlier, can devastate your tank, but there's also hole in head and lateral line disease. This is thought to be diet related, so it's really important how you feed your fish. Every day I feed my fish New Life Spectrum pellets, the LRS Herbivore Frenzy Frozen Food, and seaweed in the form of nori. Feeding your yellow eye coal tang the right foods in the right amount will help ensure that your fish stays healthy. Also, feeding your fish enough will help ensure that you avoid any aggression issues between other tangs. As far as tangs go, the yellow eye coal tangs are very inexpensive. Locally, they can be picked up from $40 to $60, and that's kind of the price I'm seeing these guys online. So they're very inexpensive. They are a strong algae grazer that will help keep the algae down in your tank. And if you find one that's almost a purple color, they are actually a very good replacement for a purple tang. Remember, a purple tang costs $300. This fish costs $40. It is a very reasonable fish to buy over a purple tang. If you're looking for a smaller tang that's easy to take care of, that eats lots of algae, the yellow eye coal tang is an excellent tang to buy. Thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.